Kia ora everybody, today we're going to make a tea vai vai cushion here in sunny Rarotonga. So I grew up in Auckland in Ponsonby with my Cook Island grandparents and my grandmother Mama Pariu taught me how to make tea vai vai. The first part of our process is to be inspired by nature. I've got these beautiful flowers, the O tree, which is our native hibiscus. So it's very basic drawing, this is kind of enough for me to make a start. I've chosen pink, yellow and a blue background. Two, three. Cut out your pattern so that you've got the main shapes. Like that. And now we've got our two beautiful yellow ote. <laughs> okay. Lay it out on top of your background. So I've pinned it into position now, just so that I can tack it down with some cotton. It doesn't have to look flash, this is really just pinning it down so that it holds it flat while you're working. I'm going to start by invisible stitching my pink flower. To make a, a knot, I wet my finger, and then I roll it around, and I basically then take the end and I roll it away and then I pull it down like that. So I've made this knot. And this is the sort of slow and painstaking part of TYY cushion making. It really is a labour of love. Holding it steady. I'm going down through the blue and then up catching the pink like that. I'm basically coming out and then going straight next to the stitch that I've made. I'm going to put aside the invisible stitch for a second so that I can show you a embroidery stitch. Choose the colours of your embroidery thread so that it's going to be a nice contrast where you have like different colours on top of each other to make it pop. This is also variegated, and variegated is where it changes colour. The stitch that we're going to use today is like a zigzag, but it's called a double twisted blanket stitch. So, going to find a nice easy spot to start and just basically fold over that little edge there. I'm just going to go through the blue, up, through the green. This goes around the back of the needle, around anti-clockwise twice, and then you pull it through. To finish off your cushion now, you just need to keep stitching until you've decorated the whole thing. It might take you a couple of days, it might take you a couple of weeks, it might take you a couple of years, but it's something that you can like take with you and just keep stitching until you finish decorating your beautiful flowers. To finish making your cushion, turn it inside out, make that flap at the back, and then turn it back the right way around and pop your cushion inside. So there you have it. You've made a tea vai vai cushion with me. Thanks for being here in Rarotonga. Sending you all our aroa, kia manuia, kakite.